Finland. Yep. Yeah, two thousand pounds. You've now got four thousand pounds. <laughs> You're eight questions away from a million, but you've used up all your lifelines. Have a look at this, it's worth £8,000. In the book of Exodus, which substance was miraculously supplied as food for the Israelites in the wilderness? Fish, nectar, manna, ambrosia. I'll play C, manna. Not nectar? Nope. £3,000 if you're wrong. I'm not. <laughs> Final answer? Yep. You're not, are you? You've got £8,000. <laughs> and you knew it, didn't you? As soon as it came up. Good, you've got £8,000. Now, the next question, you've still got no lifelines, obviously, but the next question is worth £16,000, but it's starting to get very serious money now. If you get this wrong, Andrew, you drop £7,000. Take your time, have a look at it, tell me if you want to play. For £16,000, the phrase, a week is a long time in politics, is attributed to which British Prime Minister? Edward Heath, Harold Wilson, Margaret Thatcher, or Harold Macmillan? A week is a long time in politics. If you give me the right answer, it's worth £16,000. You can take £8,000 and go. I have to be realistic and take 8,000. You don't have to be. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Sure, sure? Yeah. Not an inkling? Before, be. before the names were there, I would have said Harold Wilson. But it would be a guess. I'm not 100% I'm not confident. And that's too big a drop. Serious present as well for a four-year-old. Yes. Final answer, you can take the money. OK, give him a big hand. Andrew Stewart leaves with £8,000. Good on. Stay there just a second. I can tell you that if you'd said to me your initial instinct, if you'd gone with Harold Wilson, you would now be on £16,000. But you did the right thing. You went away with £8,000. If you were wrong, you'd have dropped £7,000. Andrew leaves us with £8,000. <laughs> Stuart walked away with £8,000. That'll give his uh, granddaughter Lottie a fantastic fourth birthday tomorrow. Now, we've got nine contestants remaining, so here we go again. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these words in order of their first appearance in the Peter Piper tongue twister. Some looks of horror on their faces. So the tongue twister goes like this.